Welcome to today's 3D print. Time for more model showcases. Today we have the Fairy Queen by Magnet and we have the Urns by Luby. So stay tuned. First up, I have the Urn by Luby. These are available on Thingiverse. This is printed with a 1.2 millimeter nozzle using Protopasta's The Empire Strikes Black, which is very cool. It's like a, a um, semi-satin black um, HDPLA with silver glitter in it. It is very nice. It's got a, a rough finish. I kind of like it because of that. It's got a, it doesn't have the smooth plasticky finish that you typically have with a 3D print. This has a um, more, um, more stone cloth like you can feel it so you can hear it actually it's more of a rough finish and i like that it gives it a nice look i think that's what gives it a satin look and um this is her design now there is a remix of her design i forgot to click on the link to bring it up remix one here we go took a little while to load sorry about that this one is by Krusty. So he remixed her urn. So for example here, he split it so that it goes both directions instead of all one direction like a spiral. And that gives it an interesting look because it looks like it's constantly pulling apart. See how it goes up and down as you turn it. This was the same same scale, 100% um, loop. The, Ender 3 with the 1.2 millimeter nozzle, Empire Strikes Black from Podopasta. Very cool, and he also did one with a 5 split. So you can see this one's got a whole bunch of different angles because he split it multiple times. Very cool. This is the wonderful thing when a, a modeler permits remixing and you have a forum like Thingiverse to allow the sharing of this is that you know one person comes up with something and then another person takes that something they came up with and does something interesting with it. You saw the, last, the same thing with the Drogon egg a couple weeks ago where um, a person mixed the dragon egg and the Drogon dragon together into a Drogon egg and it was beautiful. Same thing here. You allow remixing and you get interesting cool things like that. So of course I had to make one larger. So this is a 150% scale up and this is the original Luby urn in Vertigo Starlight. That is cool. This was printed at I believe 0.4 layer or 0.3 layer heights with a 1.2 million nozzle on the Ender 3 in Filamentum's Vertigo Starlight. It truly is a beautiful print. I'm not sure what happened here. That's, I think that's a cooling issue. I think that's one side having cooling and one side not having cooling. No, it's just that one layer. It's just that one band right there. Now that's interesting. That's a spiral print. So what would change to affect that one single band? Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, inside. I got some light, extra light here to light these things up. There you go. That's a pretty print. I like that. All right, and next up, we had a community print off where we a little casual contest where everybody said, "Hey, let's print something cool," and somebody posted the file, and we all tried to print that. I think there are like fourteen people. So this is my entry. This is from Magnet, M-A-G-N-E-T, on Thingiverse, and it is the Fairy Queen. So this is a multi-part print, which allows you to do the different colors like this very easily, even if you don't have a multicolor printer. So the legs are a separate print from the skirt, which is a separate print from the torso, which is a separate print from the wings. They're all separate parts. All these parts were printed on the TiVo Flash. 
The legs and torso were printed in gold Krugerrand from Paramount 3D. The skirt was printed in uh, winter blue from Protopasta. And the wings were printed in Atomic Filaments Ultra Green. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's like it almost glows. It's really nice. Um, give you some close ups. Here's the wings. The wings came out stunning. I did some painting on her. Since the torso is all one piece, so I painted the top, the butterfly, and her hair and her eyes by hand. I got these paints off of acrylic paints off of Amazon. I just looked up metallic paint and I started picking the colors that I liked. I got two different blues, the red, and um, I got also got a purple and a green, which I haven't used yet. But that turned out really cool. You just have to have a gentle hand. The fact that I scaled this up quite a bit, I think it's like 220%, made it a lot easier to do that. But here you can see the legs came out beautiful. Think of them as Cuban stockings. The Z seam goes up the back so you can't see it. So it looks like a vase print. You can technically print each leg separately. So I tried to vase print it, but the bottoms of the feet would not come out right if you tried to vase print them. So I didn't vase print it. Knack 3D broke this up into further pieces, which is amazing. So I would love to try this again in a larger size using different colors like he did. Be sure to check out his remix. It's absolutely stunning. The paint worked very well. It stuck very well. It came out very nice. I was very pleased by that. No issues, no problems. The, the Paramount 3D Gold Krugerrand came out so smooth, it's ridiculous. It, it just came out so nice. And Magnet did a wonderful job of making sure the parts could fit, although I could not get the wings to fit. Those required some nippers and some grinding to get those wings to fit in there. But beyond that, wow. One of my favorite models. I do plan to upscale this eventually. Um, I designed it to see how large could I possibly make this. And pretty big, about a meter tall. Because it's multiple pieces. And then I found out how much filament I would need just to print the skirt. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's not happening. It would take three kilograms of plastic just to print the skirt in the one meter tall version. That's $180 of winter blue. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> not yet, at least. Maybe sometime down the road, maybe eventually, because I really would love to make a gigantic version of this. It's just such a beautiful model. But that's, that's a ways off at that price, so we'll have to wait for that. But there you go. Again, it's Magnet. Check him out. Link down below. Oh, thank you, Burst. He has some absolutely amazing models. I mean, just incredible. The same with Luby. If you've seen the dragons that I print, most of the dragons that I print are from Luby Aria, Adelinda, the giant squirrel, the swan, um, a bunch of other ones there from Luby. And Magnet also has some absolutely stunning models. I mean, you look at some of his stuff and it's just like, oh, my printers would be busy for thousands of hours. <laughs> <laughs> so one at a time <laughs> but this one was one of the easier ones and I'm glad they chose it and it's also beautiful but there you go once more around that is the Fairy Queen by Magnet beautiful beautiful model you did a good job dude I really love this model you guys have a great day thank you very much for watching I appreciate it